Afternoon guys, I'm just going to take you through a Rally Chopper Mark II uh, restoration of the actual gear lever. When I was doing one I could never find anything on YouTube or anywhere to say this is how you do it basically and it's not as easy as it seems. So, listen up, watch the video, hopefully you'll learn something. So first of all, what we need to do is just pop this plate off at the back and it should just pull up, just like that. Comes off quite easy. And then these screws here, see these screws? They've got a nut on the underside and I'm just gonna screw that nut off. and take that out. There is a reason why I'm doing this um, because it just makes it a hell of a lot easier when we try and get the cable out. So take this off, okay, take that bit off and then the cable should be quite loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take this one out which is proving quite difficult. So maybe a little tap. So all I'm doing is I'm just going down the channel here with a very small screwdriver and just giving it a little bit of encouragement. What we can also do, if it's a little bit seized, just get some oil, give it a good spray, let it sit for a few minutes, which I've already done just for the sake of saving a bit of time um, and we can just give it a, a little tap here and there out comes the cable okay and the cable line everything's good now then once we've got this out of the way now we need to think about changing gear so we know how it changes gear, that's fine. But on this side here, you can see there's a locking ring here. So we're just gonna take this off. Now then, I have had this one off. And as you can see, it's slightly broken because it was so seized. But that's okay, because I've got some new ones waiting to go on. All we need to do now with this pin, you can see the pin on the other side here. We need to just pull that out and it should come out quite easy again if you've doused that in oil it should come out a lot easier so that's the pin okay so always try and pop your stuff into a magnetic bowl here so nothing's going to get lost nothing's going to fall out okay so what we're going to do now is move this lever all the way back like this and on the underside here you can see a ball bearing it is a ball bearing in there we're going to push that ball bearing in and at the same time wiggle your screwdriver a little bit and then you can see the plate moving if I get in here and the plate starts to come up once we've pushed in that ball bearing it is a little bit tricky to get out but it just slides up a bit like a guillotine as you can see so I'm just going to slide that all the way out now and put that in my little magnetic bowl. Okay. Now then, at this point, the ball bearing will want to just fall out, which it has, as you can see. So I'm going to put that in the magnetic bowl. 
and then I'm going to tip this the other way up because on the other side in here there is another ball bearing and we're going to push that through and out this side then comes a little spring as you can see so we're going to pop that in the magnetic ball as well just give this a little tap and the other ball bearing should come out if not a little bit of encouragement wouldn't go amiss What I've forgotten to do here is just take this back screw out just like the front one that we did at first so you can take the back and the front one out all at the same time and then if we just slide this back up it should come out and there's the other ball bearing you see it it's still inside okay But well, that's okay that can stay so that's how you take it apart now then all you need to do now is replace this part and we've got the other bit here so join us for part two where we take this piece off and replace it see you soon